It's a bright Wednesday today. Bright Wednesday. An, an amazing day. Absolutely. Nigerians are really, really looking forward to seeing what um, today is going to be like. Has to offer. It's so it's many a, things. It's a big day on, on many areas, mm -hmm. it, it, depending on, on where you stand. But it's, it's a big day here in Nigeria. Definitely. You know, so much to look forward to right. today. Uh, but then it's also a day of um, reflection or another day of industrial action, uh, right. you know, for uh, some crop of workers, of, of Nigerian workers in Nigeria. As um, you know, today is uh, the second day of a, two, of a two day warning mm -hmm. strike uh, ordered by the Nigeria Labor Congress. And, and we've got some information uh, which will serve as a starter conversation uh, this morning in Lagos, for example, members of the Nigeria Labor Congress shut down the port in the Apapa area in compliance with its two-day warning strike over petrol subsidy removal. In Nigeria's capital of Abuja, civil servants partially complied with the strike order, but the Federal Secretariat was devoid of its usual activity, with some members going about their regular duties. Senior correspondent Sharon Ejaso here in Lagos and um, Helen Osamide Akins in Abuja both reported that the inability of the government to fulfill terms of collective bargaining agreements reached with the workers prompted the strike. <coughs> Workers in the maritime sector complied with the two-day warning strike called by the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, for Tuesday 5th and Wednesday 6th of September 2023. The Nigerian Labour Congress staged the industrial action in preparation for an indefinite strike. Deputy President of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria, Tonye Ari, who addressed other workers, lamented poor wage paid to Nigerians. Of course, we all know the economic situation of the country. Everything is uh, prices of goods, prices of services is going higher and higher by the day. And uh, the promise that uh, the federal government will come up with their palliatives, we are not seeing it. And uh, of course, uh, the hardship is something else. So I do not think that uh, they will see it otherwise. But definitely, the same pain that we have is the same pain that they have too. You know, when there is hunger, there is anger. After a National Executive Council meeting on the 31st of August, NLC announced the warning strike following inability of government to meet demands of workers. Some of the grievances of the workers are the federal government's refusal to reach agreement with organized labor on the critical issues of the consequence of the hike in the price of petrol, onslaught against trade unions and their leadership by the state and its agents across Nigeria. Others are the invitation of police to the national headquarters of NURTW, as well as the violation of the rights of workers to join unions in some organizations in the aviation sector. It should be noted that the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, met with the Minister of Labor and Employment, Simon Lalong, on the matter. It has become pertinent to appeal to the leadership of the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, to suspend its intended two days warning strike, as such action would be detrimental to the gains already been recorded on our course to securing a greater future for Nigerian workers and citizens at large. Workers across the country are hopeful that the federal government will accelerate the process of wage increase. Sharon Jasson, TVC News.